As Vice Mayor of the City of Napa, I know that the City has adopted a resolution in support of producer responsibility and it was unanimous. Can you tell me why you think it was unanimous and why the Council supported it so strongly? Sure. I think all of us uh, Council members know that we have an obligation as a community and as representatives of the community to make sure that we are doing everything we can for the health, welfare, and safety of our citizens. And I think there's a couple of us who have young children and we're looking towards their future. I think voluntary programs are fantastic and I'm glad to hear that battery manufacturers are getting in, into the game of, of recapturing their products that are hazardous and dangerous to, to the public. What they have to do though is put together a real program that actually works um, and not just have a couple of boxes out in a couple of places. There are so, they have to have a program that literally is set up to educate people about taking action to recapture every single battery that they produce and sell. Does your public tell you that they would like more convenient recycling opportunities for things like batteries? You know, I, our, we have a very high um, recycling rate here in the city. Um, we, we have a, a great recapture. Uh, it's, people want to recycle and it's just a matter of making it easy for them to do it. So it doesn't matter whether it's batteries, plastic bags, um, you know, aluminum cans, plastic bottles, people will recycle and they want to recycle, but it's difficult sometimes if they don't know where they're supposed to put the certain things. And this year we're going to have two paint or two pro stewardship programs roll out on carpet and in paint. And paint is about $135,000 a year cost to the local facility. Um, that will be reduced or eliminated because of that program. Is there anything you'd like to say to that? Well, not sm so much specific to paint, but I think the important thing, especially when we're talking about uh, a producer's or manufacturer's responsibility for recycling, we're not just talking about the environment and, and making sure that we're protecting our water and our air and, and providing a healthier future for our kids. I think what some people need to understand is that what we're talking about a taxpayer cost. People, uh, we, we not only pay for these products when we're at the store, but then the money comes back out of our pockets again when we have to properly dispose of them, when we have to remediate properties that may have been contaminated or damaged, when we have to go and clean up water areas or waterways, and when we have to deal with the health effects, the long-term health effects that we again pay with our tax dollars those are real costs that we pay again and again and again out of taxpayers' pockets. And so this isn't just a feel-good thing. This is about our money. So it's an economic issue for you as much Absolutely. as it is an environmental issue. Absolutely. And is, lastly, is there anything you'd like to say to the um, state officials and the producers that uh, may be watching this video? Well, to the state officials, I would say thank you for doing your job and making sure that we are doing everything we absolutely can to work with the producers who are manufacturing products that can lend to uh, some hazardous waste issues or just adding to landfill that may not be necessary. To the producers, I would say uh, we welcome your participation. We appreciate your, your helpfulness in joining with us to address this problem. I think more and more producers are realizing uh, that they need to play a participatory role uh, with state elected officials, with the public, with their distributors um, to educate and come up with a, a recapture program to make sure that they are uh, covering the whole circle of, of what it is that they're doing with their business. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you.